Hi and welcome to Easy Fishing. Well today I'm back on the small irrigation reservoir where I did uh, the video of catching carp on a float rod with a centre pin. Uh, it's a lovely bright breezy early autumn day and today on the menu perch and silverfish but primarily perch. Uh, an acquaintance um, has sent me some pictures and he's caught quite a lot of perch. He's fishing further up now and he's catching small ones. But I'm after the bigger ones. So this is the tackle for the day. Now I've got my uh, Drenon Red Range Carp pole out. I'm using a top section strung with white hydro on a basis that I don't know how big the fish are and there are quite a few carp in here so I could latch into one of them which I don't want to. The rig is simplicity made on 022 main line and a one gram Drennan carp to float. Now, you might think that's a bit heavy, bearing in mind it's only about, uh, I don't know, five and a half feet deep where I'm fishing, but there is a lot of wind and tow. So I don't want to be messing about with sort of like a four by 12, you know, small float. I want it to be stable. Simple shotting, Olivet between two float rubbers, couple of droppers, quick change link and a size 10 Drennan wide gape uh, and I'm going to be fishing lobworms on the hook over chopped worm and caster. So I've chopped up about oh, half a pint of worms and casters and I will feed most of them in one go. Now, when you're doing this, I don't like to chop up large amounts of worm. I like to feed them in while there's still plenty of juices and they're lively. And I've not chopped them into a mulch. Bits about a centimetre long, or a bit smaller, or bits a bit bigger. So let's get them in. And as always with me, because uh, everything seems to be in a rush, I forgot the uh, pole cup for my Drennan but I have one of these. I always carry it. It's one of the Dresden, uh, Preston Mega Pots. So I'm just gonna fill it up. I'm gonna get about two potfuls in here, I think. Now, if it was deeper than this, I'd probably mix it with some ground bait to make a ball so it goes to the bottom. But I don't mind a little bit of spread of bait and I'm only fishing the top two plus three sections out because of the wind. And like I say, I'm gonna feed two potfuls of that in. which is quite a lot of bait. But um, I haven't got that many, much time. And uh, I'm going for a, instead of a little and often approach, I'm going for a dump it and wait. I've lined up with a far bank marker. A fish in a short pole like this is dead easy. And even if you're one of the lucky ones that can afford a flagship pole, you should always start off using them short to get used to them. Biggest lesson in pole fishing, don't buy a 16 meter pole and try and fish it at that length, it will end in tears. Now, I've only got about a dozen or so 
lobsters bait, but that will be enough for a session, I hope. So I'm just going to take a lobworm and chop it in half, keep the other half in a bait box. Just going to pass the point of the hook into the end that's cut. Slide it up the shank lightly so it looks like this. And there we go. Now I might have to add a back shot to the line above the pole float to control it, but I'm hoping I can get away without it. So line it up where I put the bait in. Sitting on my uh, seat and I'm using a bump bar to hold the pole steady. And uh, I might have to raise the bump bar just by an inch. So we're all set up, ready to go. Now we've just got to see if there's a response from Mr. Perch. I've got the float dotted right the way down, so I've got all oh, five millimeter or so of bristle showing. And uh, if I get a lift bite, it should register. And it's lovely to be out fishing here on a day like today. Although the breeze is uh, not making fishing easy. Um, the swallows are still swooping over the water. You might just catch a glimpse of them on camera, um, which is nice to see they haven't all left yet. In fact, I've got, oh, good half a dozen. The fields have been ploughed and the rooks are digging for leather jackets and grubs. And uh, the first of the trees are just starting to turn yellow. And uh, yes, all is well with the world. In fact, on a day like today, um, the fishing, catching fish is for me, not the most important thing. But being out here and doing what I like is what floats my boat. And to add to my pleasure, I've now got 30 or more swallows all in front of me, swooping down. They look like they're drinking or picking insects up, I'm not sure which, but what a wonderful sight to see in the early autumn and uh, yes adds greatly to my pleasure well they're getting slightly bigger and this one's not a perch looks like a rudder or a roach and how about that a beautiful rud Incidentally, I've been experimenting with these Guru Disgorgers and I quite like them. So I'm going to keep trying the uh, lighter rig whenever the gusts stop because in this wind it's um, they're just being blown all over the place, but I'll keep trying them from time to time. So while the wind stopped blowing, I'm just trying the light rig, which is a Adrenaline Carp 5, which is a wire stem design. I chose that rather than a carbon because I want it to be stable. It's uh, on 015 main line and 010 hook length with a size 18 silverfish match on. I'm trying a single caster, but I will try bits of worm but you need to match your float to the conditions. Don't go out there with a set uh, idea what float you're going to use because this is not presenting as well as the one gram float that I have been using. But if I can get it to work, it probably will get me much many, uh, many more bites. But yeah, shot it simply with a bulk and two droppers and uh, We'll carry on for a bit and see how we get on with that. Well, when I get the lighter rig to work, I'm certainly picking up some bigger fish. And here I have what looks like a rud. I'm 
Oh yes, beautiful quality fish. Not a monster, but absolutely stunningly beautiful. I mean, you know, in the sunlight, could there be anything more beautiful? Yes. So while I can uh, use the light rig, I will persist, but... Uh It's not easy in this wind, and this time I'm just going to nick on a small piece of worm. See if it does any better. Let's lay it out upwind. Loose feed some casters over the top and await developments. Well, finally, I've got something that's pulled a bit of elastic out. Well, it's not very big, but it's probably the best fish of the day. And it's certainly uh, having a go, but with white hydro, it's not gonna win. I don't know what I've got. I don't know what I've got. It's not a carp, I don't think, unless it's a baby one. Let's have a look. And it, oh, yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I'll say that, let's get him in the net first. Now, this is a belter. <laughs> hooked dead in the centre of the top lip and the hook doesn't just does does not want to come out. There we go. Now, is this a rudder or a roach? Now this is a roach, and that is well over the pound mark. Yes. So the whole day has uh, definitely got some good points. I've checked the mouth, it definitely is, uh, well, I don't know. It looks so rud-like and the lips are almost level, so I'm not sure, I'm gonna call it a I don't know, it could even be a hybrid between a rudd and a roach. But whatever it is, I don't care. I'm so pleased with it. So there you go, folks. That's what you can catch from these little neglected waters. Popping back nice and gently. So that's perked the day up after a succession of smaller fish. Let's get back out there and see if I can get another one. Still catching the uh, fish. I'm not setting the world alight. But, uh, I'm having a, a very enjoyable time in the, uh, it has to be said, quite tricky conditions. And what have we got here? Oh, yes. <laughs> another ambitious perch. 
Oh yes, we're getting a quite a steady run of fish now. Again, like I say, nothing spectacular, but uh, <laughs> no, yet another greedy perch. What I'm dreading is uh, the carp gate crashing the party. And actually I'm surprised that one hasn't already, but uh, you watch, if I put a light rig on with uh, a small hook, I'll get a carp. So while I'm catching fish, I'm going to persist. I could just feed casters to six, well, I'm fishing at about six metres, I guess. Not very far out. I can just manage to throw casters there, but the wind, well, it's uh, making life tricky. Well, <laughs> I'm still catching a, uh, a steady stream of, uh, yes, perch. Well, I'm still catching a steady stream of uh, small perch and things with uh, the odd marginally better one and uh, I keep loose feeding casters and uh, potting in small amounts of chopped worm and just trying to make things happen but uh, at the moment I can't find a bigger stamp of fish. I think they're there, I just haven't uh, quite cracked the uh, presentation today but I'm going to persist for a while longer and uh, see if I can't manage one or two now the sun is dropping but uh, I guess I've probably only got another half hour or so to go so uh, I'm just trying uh, everything I can to um, get a bit of fish on camera I've only had one really uh, good fish and the rest have all been uh, pretty small but very enjoyable all the same so at the moment I'm just uh, the winds dropped I've just slipped on a uh, light rig again and give that a try um, but in all fairness every time I've tried the light rig it hasn't proved to be any better than the heavier rig, really. Um, so I don't really know, but I don't care. I'm having a great time. And isn't that what fishing is supposed to be about? I mean, I've just uh, bumped that fish while I was playing around with a microphone. And uh, yeah, well, just keep going for a bit longer till the light is too uh, dim to fish. So every time I uh, try with a light rig and a small bait, this is what I get. Just, uh, I think I've got a rud here. Yeah. I mean, you know, still nice fish to catch, you know, but uh, yes, I, could, I was hoping for something a bit better, but you can't catch fish, big fish every time. Yeah, what a beautiful little fish though. I suppose the lesson is uh, just enjoy what you can catch. Um, I know I certainly do. A lot of other uh, anglers would be uh, very unhappy if all they caught were small fish. But I suppose if I'd put them in a net and uh, taken a catch shot at the end of the day, I would probably have uh, 
a fair bag of fish, probably, uh, I don't know, five or six pounds of fish, so, who cares? So, I'm uh, back on the heavy rig again, tried the light rig, it's still just a succession of small perch, um, so we're back on the uh, lobworm section on the heavy rig, and because uh, the end of the day is approaching, I've uh, fed most of my casters in like uh, quite big quantities, and I suppose that means there's a very good chance that um, a carp will gate crash the party. But uh, um, I'm not going to complain on this rig. I should get it out, provided it's not you know huge. So. Uh, we just have to wait and see what the last few minutes of the day bring. You never know, could bring me that spectacular uh, fish that I'm after. And incidentally, something else I've noticed, as it's faded the light, incidentally it's cold, um, there's been a lot of rud activity on the surface. Um, seen a lot of them splashing and uh, on the surface, so it's obviously the dusk feeding time. But we shall see how we get on. Well, I guess that's it now. The light is just about gone. The uh, fishing appears to have gone dead since the carp moved in the swim. I did harbour faint hope that I might hook it, but um, it doesn't matter. I haven't caught a huge amount of fish. Hardly any of them have been worth showing on film. So the video will be quite short, but it's been a very enjoyable session. So until next time, tight lines.